Hi friends, today we're doing Unit 8, Lesson 3, A Condo and a Pony, The Gatherers. We're going to start by going over some of the key vocabulary words you'll be hearing in today's reading. Ceremonial refers to a set of formal acts, often fixed and traditional, that are performed on important religious or social occasions. Construct means to build. Shaman is a person who is regarded as having access to spirits and is said to use magic to cure illnesses, tell the future, and control the spirits. We are now going to move into today's reading. Chapter 2, A Condo and a Pony, The Gatherers. I stared up at the blue sky and squinted. It was hot. There was not a cloud in the sky. Even though the leaves on the trees were now changing to splendid colors that made me stop and stare, the intense heat of the sun still lingered. I stood for a moment and rested my tired feet. I could tell that the heat of the day would soon be replaced by an explosive thunderstorm. I glanced back toward our village, but it was now almost completely out of sight. I couldn't see the roofs of the houses and storage rooms, nor the smoke rising up from each family hearth. I could, however, still see our chief's home. I could also still glimpse the ceremonial buildings that sat upon the large mounds that my people constructed. This is a pony looking back toward her village. My brother Akondo and I had been sent out with our baskets to gather wild fruits, berries, and nuts. In fact, this was the time of the year when most of the children in our village were put to work. This was the time of year when the children gathered nuts, fruits, and berries that could be preserved or dried. We also gathered wild onions and milkweed. This food would be needed when the earth was frozen. It was important that we gathered what nature provided for us before the rains came and washed it all away or the frost came and killed it. This is the food that the children gathered. The crops that we grew, sunflowers, corn, squash, and tobacco were also being harvested. Some of the older children were busily helping in the fields. Only the shamans were allowed to gather tobacco and the roots and bark that were used for medicine. My brother told me that the shamans offered tobacco to the four directions of the earth before the roots of the medicine plant were taken. I look ahead in search of a condo. My brother was so far ahead of me that I was losing sight of him. A condo, slow down, I called to my brother. Can we rest for a while? A condo looked back at me. He is my twin brother, and even though we are the same size, he is stronger than I am. A condo had a large birch bark basket strapped around his waist. It was almost full to the brim with hickory nuts and hazelnuts. I had a basket strapped to my waist too. Mine was smaller than his, and it was only half full with butternuts and acorns. Just for a short while, pony, he yelled back. We haven't even begun to collect the berries. A condo walked back and sat down beside me on the ground. Want to play a game, he asked. Yes, what game, I replied eagerly. Well, play a, we'll play a guessing game, Akondo replied. Now turn away until I say you can look. Akondo was very bossy, but I loved him. He always stuck up for me when some of the children in the village teased me. Okay, ready, said Akondo. I turned around to see that three large autumnal oak leaves had been placed on the ground. A condo had placed a stone under one of them, and I had to guess which one. I only had one guess. We would do this three times, then we would switch, and a condo would have to guess. He always beat me. The one in the middle, I said hopefully. Wrong, exclaimed a condo. It's the one on the left, he said as he lifted up the leaf to reveal the stone. My next guess was also wrong, but my third and final guess was correct. This is a condo and a pony playing a guessing game. Now it's your turn, I said. As always, a condo beat me. He got two out of three guesses right. Okay, let's go, he said, urging me on. The sooner we gather all that we can, the sooner we can return home. I guess, I said, but I continued to sit on the ground. Later on, if you like, I will show you how to beat me in the guessing game, a condo offered, trying to spur me on. It worked. Really, I asked, jumping to my feet and picking up my basket. Really, a condo replied, but first you have to fill that basket. Okay, I said, smiling at him. Then I grabbed my brother's hand and walked with him beneath the canopy of red, gold, and copper colored leaves. This is a condo and a pony walking hand in hand to collect more food. 
You may now move on to Unit 8, Lesson 3, Google Form.